According to data from Johns Hopkins University, 200,000 Americans have now died of the Chinese virus. If that's true, obviously it's tragic, but difficult to put the numbers into context. It's almost impossible to compare our numbers with other countries, for instance, not for conspiratorial reasons, but simply because information like this is damnably difficult to obtain. You hear people say, we have more deaths than any other country, but we're about a zillion times larger than most other countries. And other countries that are large, like China and Russia, are famously dishonest and opaque about what's happening there. It's hard to compare our death rate with other countries, the number of people with the disease who go on to die because we don't know how widespread their testing is or how accurate or how accurate our testing is, for that matter. And we don't know yet how many years of human life have been lost, how many people who died of Wu flu would have died this year anyway, and how many were cut down far too early. Still, it's fair to say <clears throat> this is a real disease. The de- it's bad. Diseases are bad. What's been particularly dispiriting to me, though, is the politics of it. And yes, especially on the left. Donald Trump has said some goofy things during the pandemic. No question about it. He always says goofy things. But the left and the left wing media's insistence that somehow he's to blame for this virus and for the results is absolutely despicable. We have absolutely no evidence of that yet. We we don't. We have none. We can we can't point to anyone who acted with greater foresight. We don't know yet whether lockdowns helped or hurt. We see some countries that seem to have reacted better than we did, but now are having spikes. We see other countries that kept their economies open like Sweden and may have and may do better over the long run than those that shut down. We can be certain everyone made mistakes because everyone always makes mistakes. But so far, the only thing I blame our leaders for is the dishonesty with which they've attacked the president, the duplicity with with which with which they've used the moment to abridge our rights, shutting down religious observances while letting people riot or hold uh, public left wing funerals and the cynicism with which. Our leaders have spread fear and the journalists have spread fear and continued shutdowns that will surely vanish the day after the election. The Chinese disease has brought tragedy on American families. No one should doubt that. But more than that, it has revealed many of our leaders and almost all of our journalists to be politically foul and tragically empty hearted. (laughs) 